Hey everybody, spring is in the year and we are in Bucharest, Romania. Okay, so we're gonna go check out some stuff here at Bucharest. So come on and let's go. We arrived in Bucharest, Turkey after driving Abbey all the way from Turkey's Antalya Alanya coastline. And it was time to get out, stretch our legs. This was our priority before going out and getting groceries, which we'll do later in the video. Here we are, we found a park. I'm gonna go explore. There are a lot of parks in Bucharest. This one's about a 20 minute walk from our Airbnb. Tweedledum, Tweedledee, come on. There you go. There were closer parks to our Airbnb, but I selected this one because it looked like there was gonna be water features. It had 32,000 high reviews, lots of walking trails, and there were restaurants that were in the park. So we decided that we were going to find a restaurant and check out some local cuisine and see what kind of prices we're going to find here in Romania. So this is our first restaurant stop. So we found this little restaurant here called Botanic and we are going to walk over and see if they'll let us eat here. I'm assuming so, it's in the park. And let's see if they'll let us in with the dogs. Here's the menu here at Botanic. And as always, as I show you this menu, feel free to fast forward if it has no interest to you. But if you're looking at prices, it's 4.48 Romanian to one US dollar. 4.95 Romanian to 1 Euro, and 5.87 Romanian to 1 British Pound. So you can take a look at the main courses, the appetizers, and here's the drink menu. This being our very first restaurant experience in Romania, we don't have anything to compare it to yet, but the prices do appear to be reasonable. Our lunch at Botanic consisted of a bottle of water, a vegetarian pizza, and one chicken salad. Our first Romanian lunch came out to be 77 lei, which comes out to $17.19 US, 15.57 Euro, or 13.11 British pounds, and that's before the 10% tip we typically give. Okay, so 77, how'd you like your lunch, honey? I actually thought it was really good. They had a good yogurt sauce on the um, salad. I was, I was happy. Yeah, I tasted the pizza. And it was fantastic. It's very, uh, it, it was not oily at all. It was really, really good. We meandered out of the restaurant down the trail and we started seeing some structures look like some sort of rides and amusement things up in the front. And we saw we were in Disneyland. Well, not the real Disneyland. And you could just walk in here. So there was no $110 fee per person to enter the park like in the real Disneyland. But we did check out this area. There were a lot of rides and little places to get food. And to be honest with you, I think it's probably a lot better deal than the real Disneyland where you might spend the whole day in line and maybe get lucky and get on four or five rides. We're here, you can pretty much walk right up to anything. And it looks like it's about five to 10 Romanian per ride. So yeah, that's really about a dollar to $2 a ride. So if you consider the cost per ride, this is definitely the better ticket option than going to the real Disneyland. I could definitely see this as being a nice place for a cheap date night and go out and get dinner at one of these park restaurants. And it does look like maybe there's a way to drive up closer to the other side of the park. I think this one guy's got a great deal. You got these bikes that you spend 10 lei for these kids to ride for 10 minutes to wear themselves out. So for the last ride at the park, before you leave and the kids aren't ready to go yet, put them in here for 10 or 20 minutes. They'll be ready to go home and snooze. So now the park is right next to like the regular park and they call this area a beach area. It's not really water, but they've got these weird round rocks that people hang out on, picnic on, and lay out on for some sunning. And then there's another area where there's some darker stones where people work out. So I guess if you lived here, you'd get that cool concept, but it was an interesting part of the park, an interesting feature, a place to go and hang out. Now, of course, our dogs love the park and there was all kinds of trails to go strolling on. 
And there are people riding their bikes through here too, doing um, biking on the biking trails. So depending on what your interest is and your ability for health and exercise and your stamina, you can spend a long time here. This was a very large park and there are other very large parks in Bucharest. Even though it's surrounded by these communist older buildings, it's such a contrast to be able to just come into these peaceful, serene, green areas. I think a lot of people think of Bucharest as a concrete jungle. Well, from what I can tell so far, it's a concrete jungle if you want it to be, but if you want to get back to nature a little bit and go into these types of green spaces, they're there for you. And of course, the best thing of all, the price tag. It's absolutely free to stroll through these parks and enjoy the day and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the weather. Well, with our dogs, Katie and Arya, starting to feel the fatigue of the long day of walking, we have actually probably done about 13 to 15,000 steps at this point. It was time to turn our attention the other direction to leave the park while we still had some stamina because we still needed to go do our grocery shopping for the week. But first I wanted to show you this five to go. These little coffee kiosks are all over the place and you can get a cappuccino for five lei, which is about a buck. Now they don't have indoor seating, so you can take it to go, five to go. Okay, the Poochies are back at the Airbnb. We're going into Mega Image. This is one of the grocery store chains that are in the area. And this one was kind of the closest one to our place. Julie brought her little green shopping cart and I took out the camera to start videoing. So for those of you that haven't seen some of our videos in the past, sometimes I'm asked to shut the camera down and not to video. I don't ask permission anymore because I'm typically told no, so I just would rather ask for forgiveness. So I try to go through the grocery store a little bit stealth as we try to look at prices and shop. Now, a lot of things we're not going to buy, but I still try to show you what the prices might look like so if you're coming you'll have an understanding of what these prices are that you might be walking into so this is a typical grocery store in Bucharest Romania now if you're an American viewer I want to make sure that you understand as we look at fruits and vegetables or meats that we are not looking at pounds and that we're looking at kilograms to the Romanian lay so you're gonna look at 2.2 pounds is equal to one kilogram. So when you see a price, when something is weight related, that's reflecting towards a 2.2 pound equivalent in weight. Another item, when we're looking at eggs, a lot of times when you're looking at eggs in European countries, they're in packs of 10, not packs of 12, not dozens like in the US. So weights and content can be quite different. And as a reminder, when we're looking at prices, it's going to be 4.48 Romanian to 1 US dollar, 4.95 Romanian to 1 euro, and 5.87 Romanian to 1 British pound. And again, if you're new to our channel, Julie and I, when we're traveling around the world, we're traveling with our two dogs, we're trying to share our experiences with you and our cost of living. So we do do the adventure things, we do the tourist things, we look at investing in places, we speak to expats about what their quality of life is like and what it costs to live somewhere. We'll do real estate tours, we'll talk to lawyers or attorneys or specialists about residency somewhere. We understand that a lot of people that started watching us are expats, wannabe expats, nomads, people that are looking at retiring abroad or even doing a slow roving retirement like Julie and I. So we try to give you those answers so that you can plan your budget accordingly and hopefully find the one country you're looking for if you're looking for one country to live in. So we have a lot of different focuses on our channel. So we hope that you're going to find value in what we're doing, that you're going to subscribe and follow along and give this video a like if you find value in the content. Now, Julie and I, we use I Am Global Health Insurance as we travel from country to country. So if you're looking for travel insurance, if you're a frequent traveler, a nomad, missionary, somebody's going to live overseas, look at the video description for our I Am Global link. And just so you know, full disclosure, I am an appointed agent with I Am Global. So if you do choose to go with a policy 
from the link, I will receive a commission. And for that, I will thank you in advance. We had the IM Global Insurance coverage on us as soon as we came to Europe, and I became appointed with them after we were already customers. If you have problems finding the link, email me at warrenjulietravel at gmail.com. We're back in the store. We spent a little bit less than $50. We got a flat of eggs, very important bar of chocolate, bread, some lettuce or salad mix, some spinach, cauliflower, potatoes, sweet potatoes, avocados, apples, blueberries, mushrooms, zucchini, there's an onion hidden in there, some tomatoes, carrots, pita bread, some crackers, some cheese, another type of cheese, a thing of yogurt, we've got cabbage, there's some salmon here, and then Julie makes dog food for the dogs, and she uses chicken breast, so she's got two things of chicken breast for the dogs, and this came out to be 219 45 Romanian and it's forty nine dollars and fourteen cents in U.S. dollars. So here's a close up of the items on the receipt. So if you're coming to Romania, this is you know, kind of what we might expect to spend for maybe not quite a week. Groceries put away. Let's stroll down the street about a kilometer and a half and check out one of the popular tourist stops here in Bucharest. So behind us is what's now called the People's Palace. This was uh, the dictator Nicolae Ceausescu's um, dream building. He died before it was ever built. He spent a lot of money from a country that could not afford it to build that. That's the largest building on the planet, the heaviest building on the planet. And while money was going to build this building, there were 20,000 kids in orphanages that were dying from lack of just the basics. Nikolai Ceausescu was actually inspired by his visit to North Korea, of all places, to build this palace after seeing Pyongyang. Nikolai Ceausescu actually was one of the more easygoing dictators under communism initially. He actually sided with Czechoslovakia with the Prague Spring against Russia. But as happens to many dictators, Power goes to their head, and eventually they're overthrown by their own people. And in his case, executed with his wife by firing squad on Christmas 1989, thus ending communism in Romania. As a reminder, Julie and I were traveling the world with our two dogs, trying to see what it's like to live in other countries, other places, and sharing the cost of living experiences with you. And so if you haven't already, we hope that you'll give this video a like and that you'll subscribe and follow along as we travel for the unknown future as we try to share costs and everything with you, right? Yes. Okay, so until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.